Aideen is a wonderful little girl, age seven, who lives in Galway in Ireland, and Aideen is living with myelodysplastic syndrome. We met a consultant who told us then that Aideen had the myelodysplastic syndrome and that she needed a bone marrow transplant. After the transplant, she was like the textbook child for things going good. But five weeks later, the graft versus host disease set in and it came back stage four and um, they told us then that she had very little chance of survival. She went through a lot of stuff, like a lot of pain as well with injections, tummy bugs, everything. One evening was the hardest evening I had said, because I kept saying to the kids, she's really sick. I automatically thought they knew Aideen, how critical she was. But Dara was kicking a football in the room and Aide, Rachel would think was drawn at the table. And he said, it's not like she's gonna die. And I said, Dara, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. And to see her here today, it's like huge. It's like, isn't it? It's amazing. It gave me a sign of relief when I saw her walking out of the hospital. When we sent out what we call our wish book, which is where we ascertain the initial thoughts of the child are in relation to what their wish is going to be, the book came back and it was everything to do with Barbie. From, you know, I wish to meet Barbie to I wish to be a dress designer for Barbie. The fact that make a wish do this. And to think they do it for other families as well. You know, help other families make their dreams come true. It's amazing. I came back to my team after I'd heard about this and asked them if they were willing to, to be part of this process and the, the response was overwhelming. All of us wanted to make this day perfect for her and um, from every single detail to the flowers in her office to her business cards that we sent her, all of that started for us the minute that we heard about the wish. We have a lovely suite for you today. There you go, Aideen, that's your key to the suite, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I am so happy to invite you to join my team as a Barbie fashion designer. Once you arrive at Los Angeles Airport, a limo will pick you up. <laughs> you will know it's for you because it's pink. Oh, no. <laughs> you can relax at your Barbie hotel room. Get ready for your day working and playing at the design center. your office ready for you too. The team really tried to replicate what it was like, so it started with giving her her very own badge and an office. Welcome to Barbie Design. And we wanted her to experience the full scope yeah. of designing, from sketchbooks, materials, she's right now playing and picking up the fabrics for her doll, and she's going through the face and hair department and identifying what her doll should look like. Um, and so we're giving her that full, real experience of literally starting from a sketch to literally producing her very own doll, which I don't think she knows yet. How about black shoes? They've had a horrible few years, and to see them here today, and it's amazing. You know, the kids were so excited this morning. Me as a mother, <laughs> I was like, couldn't even believe it was happening. <laughs> this one is called Barbie Flurry. And this one is called Cheerleader Barbie B. I think she took away how fun and how connected she can be to her fashion. But to be able to see the joy that you bring to children, especially a child like Aideen, that makes it all worthwhile. This is part of the healing process. This is part of, part of the road back for these children. I must say, from the first moment that they heard about Aideen's wish and how yeah. passionate she was really about Barbie, really they have Barbie. gone that extra mile for this young child. Lucky is a great word. Um, we're, we're part of making a child's life better. I don't know, what else can you ask for? <laughs> it's just great seeing their smiles. It's great seeing her smile and her wish come through. Use your own designs from your heart.